ITV are finishing off what is left of Philip Schofield. He is so far under that bus, he's never coming out. A day of reckoning for ITV Chief Executive Dame Caroline McCall, Head of Programmes Kevin Ligo and Company Secretary Kyla Mullins as they faced the Parliamentary Select Committee for Culture, Media and Sport over the alleged toxic atmosphere at the This Morning office, an atmosphere that resulted in the departure of its former star, Philip Schofield. In a series of sometimes tense exchanges, this is what Dame Caroline had to say about Philip Schofield's inappropriate relationship with a much younger male member of staff. People that have said they knew would only have heard rumours about it. If any one of the individuals you have named or referenced had come to us and said there is evidence that there is a relationship between Philip Schofield and person X, we would have, with evidence, we would have been able to, to launch a formal investigation um, because the imbalance of power, uh, the imbalance in, 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 of dynamics in that relationship makes it deeply inappropriate. So Dame Caroline talked about the inappropriate nature of this relationship. She went on to talk about what ITV did when they first heard about the rumours of this relationship between Schofield and the much younger male of staff. She talked about hearing, and I quote, very, very horrible stuff. And I think we said we need to just establish whether this is rumour and speculation and malicious or whether there is something we need to worry about here. Now, the question is, and this is why the committee is probing this situation, is what did Dame Caroline and her acolytes do when they heard about this, quotes, very, very horrible stuff? Uh, she says that they launched a kind of an investigation. It cannot be referred to as an investigation. They merely asked Philip, was it happening? And then they asked the younger male uh, colleague of Philip's, was it happening? Now, apparently, the younger male colleague was asked by Dame Caroline or someone senior from ITV 12 times, are you in a relationship with Philip Schofield? He denied it 12 times. And we also obviously already know that Philip Schofield, by his own admission, lied when he was asked the same question. Far fewer times, by the way. He said it was just a couple of times. Uh, so... After that, ITV's position is that they could do nothing. The investigation was over. And now, of course, uh, ITV have launched an external inquiry into their duty of care, uh, into their diligence in dealing with this situation and whether or not they operated like a proper public company. Dame Caroline, flanked by Kevin Ligo and Kyla Mullins, uh, also told the committee uh, that uh, under the circumstances, having heard the rumours about this relationship, this inappropriate relationship, uh, it, unwise but not illegal, as uh, Philip Schofield immortally called it, she said no one, no company would turn a blind eye to such talk, to such rumours. Uh, the question is, is did... ITV turn a blind eye. We also heard uh, from Dame Caroline and her acolytes that after Dr. Ranj Singh, a 10 year veteran of this morning, one of the stars of the show, complained about the toxic atmosphere, she said they launched an external inquiry into Dr. Ranj's uh, suggestions and uh, nothing was found wanting. The question is, Dame Caroline, what was this external inquiry into Dr. Ranj's complaints? Uh, because we haven't heard the details of that. These MPs, you know, all scurrying for position, trying to get on telly, trying to get their names known on this uh, culture, media and sport committee. They're all banging in their questions. No one said, tell us all about the external inquiry you launched after Dr. Ranj complained. Uh, so we still don't know the details of that. Uh, there were other extraordinary moments when uh, the SNP MP, John Nicholson, former talk uh, radio presenter, by the way, I should say, to declare an interest. Uh, he uh, asked Dame Caroline and Kevin and Kyla 
he asked them, is it true that this morning staff routinely referred to their audience, to the people who tuned in as Tower Block Tracys? Can you confirm the daytime production staff at this morning referred to their audience in production meetings as Tower Block Tracys? As what, sorry? Tower Block Tracys. I've never heard that phrase. I have no. never heard that. Now, if that story is true, that would be a window into the dark way that ITV staff think about their audience. Now, naturally, uh, Dame Caroline, Kevin Ligo and Kyla Mullins all shook their heads in utter despair over the very suggestion. No, 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 said Dame Caroline. That would never happen. That would never, never happen. And then John Nicholson rather cleverly said, but you would agree that would be a nasty thing to say about the audience. And of course, they did agree. But this is what this is all about. This is about this program being beamed into everybody's home, the sunshine, happy, snappy daytime magazine show, uh, accused of treating its audience with contempt, accused of uh, projecting a false image of happiness and shininess and sunshine uh, because behind the scenes it was toxic. A number of people have said it was toxic. Uh, Dr. Ranj, uh, uh, obviously, Eamon Holmes and other members of staff have complained. So essentially what Dame Caroline McCall, the chief executive of ITV, stands accused of is receiving a series of complaints about the toxic atmosphere, the poisonous atmosphere in the This Morning office and about the inappropriate relationship, the alleged inappropriate relationship between the big star and the very young member of staff and doing nothing. That's what she stands accused of. Uh, and of course, she denies that she's been lacking in this respect. But it's a very tense atmosphere at that culture, media and sports committee. I I'm not entirely convinced exactly what Parliament is doing, uh, trying to establish whether or not working conditions at a daytime magazine programme were very nice. But it is what it is, and it is happening, and it is very, very uncomfortable for ITV and its chief executive Dame Caroline McCall. In one particularly awkward moment, uh, Dame Caroline turned on Eamon Holmes, of course, formerly a This Morning star, who used to present the Friday show with his wife, Ruth Langsford. He has been very vocal since the Schofield drama erupted, saying that Schofield uh, was not a nice person, uh, alleging that he's responsible for the toxic atmosphere and saying that everybody knew about the relationship between Philip Schofield and the much younger member of staff who was referred to in the committee as Mr. X. Uh, now, Dame Caroline responded to uh, everything that Eamon Holmes has been saying by saying that what he has been alleging is frankly defamatory. So she's very much kicking back against what Eamon Holmes has accused the programme of uh, being guilty of. Uh, finally, uh, worth mentioning that uh, Dame Caroline also stressed that the programme and ITV had gone out of their way to help the young member of staff uh, with whom uh, Philip had a relationship and that uh, he's received counselling. They're doing everything they can to help him rebuild his life. Uh, frankly, I don't doubt that now. Uh, they really got to help that guy out. Uh, but she also said, interestingly, that ITV has been paying for Philip Schofield's counselling. Now, he's a multi, multi-millionaire. I don't know what the shareholders of ITV will be thinking about uh, the company bankrolling Philip Schofield's therapy. Uh, but uh, this saga continues and I don't think we've heard the last of it, to say the least. Uh, what effectively we've seen is a few weeks ago, when this story first erupted, uh, Philip Schofield was thrown under the bus by ITV. He suddenly had to resign. Uh, a week or so, a couple of weeks later, Holly Willoughby returned to the sofa. And in that uh, quiet, silent assassin, smiling assassin speech. Right. Deep breath. Firstly, are you OK? Uh, chucked uh, Philip under the bus again and then reversed over his crumpled body a couple of times. And in the Culture, Media and Sports Committee, ITV are finishing off what is left of Philip Schofield. He is so far under that bus, he's never coming out.